Now we want to create the Git repository on our local environment. Now is a good time to open the terminal on the Mac or the shell which is command or CMD on a PC. Once you have it open, navigate to the uh, place where you have your um, where you have your code, your actual project, Unity project. Right now, mine is right here, and um, I'm just going to enter the path to get there. Actually, I'm going to get right to the root of that before it is there. So, CD, mine's in Document Unity Project, Git. All right, and if I do LS. I can see that I have my shooter multiplayer. Now, LS is for um, it's for um, Max. I believe it's a different command. I think it's just DIR, D -I -R on, the, on the PC. And I see that I have my project. Now I'm going to create a new one. So um, there's two ways to create a new project. You can use MKDIR and then the name of the directory. MKDIR means make directory. Or you can just make it here inside of your finder or explorer. Right click, new folder, and name, it, name this one. Um, shooter online so that you remember that is the online one okay all right by the way you just need to go inside of it so just do cd shooter online there it is and then once we're here we're going to init the directory the git repository so git init all right now this has initialized an empty git repository now, by the way, you can always look at look at the steps under your or under my first game or any of the project that you added. Look at the uh, command line one. So you see MKD, and you can make the make it. Then you go inside and then get in it. And once you have that, you need to uh, remote it so to synchronize it to this online Git repository. So just double click on this line, copy it, and paste it here. And now press Enter once you have that. Let me zoom in so that you guys can see it better. All right. So as you can see, I just ran. And now I can do ls. And as you can see, there's, we don't see anything, but it is a Git repository because the files are hidden. OK? Now, what I'm going to do is go back to my Finder. And I'm going to go inside my Shooter Multiplayer. And as you can see, I have all the files here. So I'm going to um, do Command A to select them all and right click and do Copy. OK, so copying all the files. And then I go back to um, the uh, repository right before that. And inside of my shooter online, I'm going to paste them. Paste. All right. Now all the files are getting copied to my online repository. Once this is done, OK, I go back to the terminal. And inside of the terminal, I'm going to do git add and a dot. Now when you do git add dot, it takes all the files that I've just added and and, and tell the Git repository that, hey, we've got, we have all those files that we need to add to the repository. OK, and now I need to commit them. By commit, that I mean pushing them to the, re the online repository. So git commit slash a, so, so all the files, slash m for a message, first commit. OK, so I'm adding a message. And now I'm going to press Enter. All right. And now it created the, the, the commit. And now I'm going to push it online. Git push. And now this might take some time. It depends, you know, uh, what you're doing. And uh, at this point, that's it. Um, oh yes, the first time we need to set the master. So just use that because we need, we need to set the upstream because you can have multiple branch. I'm not going to go into too many details, but know that this we're setting the upstream to know that it's the master branch. All right. It's asking for your password on Big Bucket. So make sure you remember what your password is. All right. And it's sending it as you can see, uploading. And now, once it's done, you will, uh, you will receive a message saying that it's done. You can always go back to Bitbucket and make sure that it's there. By the way, I just got the message, branch master set up to track, OK, so successful. Now going back to Bitbucket, I'm going to refresh. And here it is, OK, a few 50 seconds ago, first commit, OK, and you can always click on the first commit to see at all the files that were committed to your Git repository. Now. The beauty of having this Git repository is that every time you change something in your game and you put it inside of that repository, your online game will automatically get updated. That's perfect when you want to push uh, uh, fixes, live fixes. You know, let's say you find a, a, a bug, you can update it in any games really quickly. That's the great thing about this. All right, so here are the files. Okay, let's um, let's move on now.